you know, you hear people say that, uh, you know, if you can dream it, you can do it. And it uh, turns out it's, it is actually true. I mean, I dreamed it and I did do it. I'm Brad Rutter. I'm the all-time leading money winner on Jeopardy, and I played against Watson, too. I was working at a record store when I was first on the show, and uh, winning a bunch of money on Jeopardy actually gave me the chance to get into show business and uh, pursue my dream there. After the Million Dollar Masters, I was checking out of the Waldorf where they had us all staying, and uh, the crew was leaving at the same time. Somebody said, hey, you know, you're really natural on TV. Did you ever think about doing that for a living? And I said, well, I guess I thought about it, but I didn't know that was something that people actually did. I mean, I'm from Lancaster, PA. I was supposed to be a lawyer or something. Um, but that's what, you know, put the idea in my head. And uh, I guess a year later, I had my own show on the local station <laughs> in, in Lancaster. So winning a bunch of money on Jeopardy actually gave me the chance to get into show business. It's freed me up to chase the dream, which is great. I produce short films and comedy pilots and stuff like that. And I do a lot of improvs around town. I think my dream would be to get a hit sitcom on the air. I guess that's a big thing I've taken away too, is I hear people who have been on Jeopardy saying, oh, I was just so nervous. I knew I was going to lose, and I never really got that mindset. I figured, you know, somebody's going to win today, it might as well be me. And uh, if you take that attitude with you, that, uh, yeah, why not? As I've gone on and had some success, uh, it's really changed my life, and I'm doing things now that uh, I never would have been able to without the show. I didn't really know that they were going to do this. I just remember walking down stage after getting the big check from Alex and uh, seeing everybody clapping, and then I was looking for my friends in the audience, obviously, uh, but I didn't know they were going to spell rudder on their t-shirt. Hey, when you've been on for 30 years, you know, there's a culture and a community, and Jeopardy certainly has that. When I first moved to town, uh, Alan Bailey, who was in the Tournament of Champions with me, had been going to uh, this pub quiz at O'Brien's in Santa Monica for uh, a while, and he invited me along, and pretty much anybody who's been on Jeopardy and really likes pub quiz has been by once or twice. There's something about Jeopardy that I think just attracts those kinds of people and it's sort of magical. Most of the friends I have now are uh, people who have been on Jeopardy and or I met them that way somehow. The biggest thing I've learned over the whole Jeopardy experience is just uh, thinking positively can really help. I always thought, you know, hey, why not go on Jeopardy? Once I was there, it was like, well, uh, why shouldn't I win? I could win this as, as easily as anybody else and uh, just kept riding that the whole way through, and uh, I'm sure uh, if I'm ever on the show again, I'll feel the same way, and uh, hopefully it'll uh, do as well for me as it has in the past.